My name is Clarice Brushes Jones. I want to be on the cover of a magazine. I wish I had a light-skinned boyfriend with real nice hair. But first, I want to be in one of them BET videos. Precious is 16 years old. She's an African-American girl who is pregnant for the second time by her father. She knows that there is better, you know. And she's, she's very much a dreamer. She dreams of a better life. She, she fantasizes. Don't nobody want you, don't nobody need you. School ain't gonna help none. Take your ass down to the welfare. You're 16, you're still in junior high school, and you're pregnant with your second child. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about home? But you're gonna have to talk to somebody if you want your check, sweetie. Mary is what most people would consider a monster. Scenes in this movie that I had to walk away from. Like that's that's too much. That's 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 too much. Precious, you will stand up there and look down at me like you're a woman. You don't know what real women do. Real women sacrifice. Now smile about that, you fat bitch. Get down here. The thing I said to her was, "Hi, Monique, this is Oprah." How you doing? And I said, um, who's your favorite designer? Because you need to get your dress ready to walk down that red carpet to the Oscars. People tell me my life is Precious, I'm hungry. You plan on putting some food in that frying pan? My favorite color is purple. I sing well. And I'm here because I love to teach. I'm Joanne. My favorite color is fluorescent beige, and I'm here to get my GED. Paris, something you do well? Nothing. Everybody's good at something. Miss Rain is um, a passionate teacher who has decided to take on the most difficult work a teacher can, which is children who have gone through really difficult home lives and um, essentially have really not gotten the education that they need. Ms. Rain doesn't have any children herself, and I think her class, her students are her children. Can we talk about the abuse in your household? You know what I'm talking about. You sit there and judge me, and you write them notes on your pad about who you think I am. It was difficult when Gabby and Monique and I did that scene together. Um, for all of us to keep it together, because it's a really emotional scene where a lot of information is revealed, kind of through my character in a lot of ways. So we were crying and hugging each other and getting through it in the outtakes. But um, during those scenes, I had to be really stoic. When you ask people that has allowed their children to be abused, you, you never really get a clear answer because it's something that when you look up years later, you're like, oh my God, what did I do? But while you're in it, most people don't even look at it as being abusive. In the book, we also are asking some real questions about what is family? You know, we see the, the biological mother as a, a, a horrid perpetrator. Well, is, who is family now? Uh, is it um, Precious and her newborn? Uh, is it the community who she belongs to? Nobody loves me. People do love you, Precious. Please don't lie to me. Nothing has done nothing for me. Don't beat me. Make me feel worthless. Your baby loves you. I love you. It's a story about more than just sexual abuse or, you know, AIDS. It's more than that. It's about people. You know, it's people that we see, people that we know. I think that this movie will save a lot of people's lives because a lot of people are precious and a lot of people are married. Everybody's talking about, oh, it's so, the subject matter is so tough. No, if you watch it and get to the end of it, you see the hope exactly. in it, you know? If we looked at everybody and realized that they had a story, you know, they, they have a life beyond what you're seeing right there, that we would be kinder to one another. The primary theme, you know, the, the, I would say it's, it's the language, that she is mute in the beginning. She has no voice. 
and through voice she comes she comes alive. And that to me that's the predominant theme in the book and it's the predominant theme in, in the film. About all the girls who are gonna see this and therefore be lifted up by seeing it. They're gonna see themselves, they're gonna see that girl reading in a classroom who reads worse than they imagine themselves to. And they're gonna see, I can do I can do better. I can do better.